is Sports Center. Welcome to the special edition of Sports Center. I'm Cooper Oregon, alongside my friend and co star, Prashlani Cleary. Tonight, we have a special report about our friend, Zachary Spivak. Now, let's take you back a bit. He's been playing basketball for as long as we've known him. He was always playing in his driveway, in my driveway, really wherever. He was also playing at our preschool, Lollipop Tree. Yep, and currently, he's being scouted by a UConn men's basketball team. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Anyways, he even played Jeremy Lamb when he was about three feet tall. Let's roll the highlights. People have really been noticing, even his neighbor, Mike Golick. Listen. I've been around the streets. I keep my ear to the ground. I know what's going on. I hear all the rumblings about this kid that's going to UConn. Kevin Ollie wants him. Uh-uh. Here's what's going to happen, young Zach Spivak. It's Notre Dame or nothing. That's what's going to happen. And listen, don't worry about the whole Catholic thing. Really? Don't worry about it? I mean, Doug Gottlieb went to ND, so you got nothing to worry about there. You're going to Notre Dame. You make it happen. Look, here's the deal. I've been working with Golik forever, right? And he's always got a lot to say, particularly when it comes to the area of food. But lately, he just became obsessed with this kid Spivak. We'd be planning out the show, and I'd be talking about LeBron or Brady or whatever the story of the day was, and he would just give me this Spivak, Spivak, Spivak. I mean, it's enough already. Word got around to head coach of the UConn's men's basketball team, Kevin Ollie, who joins us now on the phone. What did you hear about this Spivak kid? Well, I can't really talk about it all in public, but we all know Zachary Spivak, and we want him. Hmm. When? Well, now. I mean, he can help us on another run for a national championship. Good luck with that, Coach, and thanks for joining us. So, where do you think he'll go? I don't know. Maybe UConn will pick him up, but the pressure is sure mounting. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Matt Dan Burke, alongside former Duke All-American Jay Williams. Jay, I'm hearing a lot of buzz about this kid, Zach Spivak. What are you doing? I mean, everybody is talking about Zach Spivak. I mean, from Dick Vitale to AOL, if they're still relevant in college basketball. Who knows? Everybody that knows college basketball is talking about Zach, his determination, his skill set. He's one of the most versatile players in the country, there's no doubt. Kevin Ollie wants him to go to UConn, but I feel that Duke and Coach K have headway with the young man. Wow, that would be great. If you get Spivak, Coach K. Wow, another championship for Duke in the making. All right, here at Red Sox camp, where word of Zach Spivak started spreading about nine years ago when he was four. Buster only, of course, our baseball tonight inside. I saw him when he was really young, and I figured this, this was destiny for him. He was going to be a Boston Red Sox player, and yet this idea that Kevin Ollie came in late and is recruiting him now to play basketball stuns me as a baseball guy. Yeah, and his stock has been rising. When you're talking to athletic directors, basketball coaches all around the country, you're hearing his name mentioned time and again, Carl. Right. I mean, I know that Deron Sheffer and Dov Hennifeld are white Jewish guys, but usually us white Jewish guys aren't recruited to play basketball at a Division I level like UConn. So this is a, this is a mind blower. Seth, I got to tell you, this is Zach Speedback kid. College basketball world is lit thinking about how good this kid's going to be. Guy's got bad game, bad handles, bad games. He's all five defenders, can shoot the jumper. I mean, the guy's must see TV. He's right here in your backyard here in Connecticut. Is he gonna go to UConn? Is he gonna go down to Tobacco Road? Maybe out to UCLA, maybe Michigan State? He's got to pay. In Kentucky, I hear Kentucky's coming in. You know when Cal comes in? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Everyone else goes, whoo, Cal's coming in. We gotta up the ante. Remember that name, Zach Spivak. You'll be seeing him on Saturdays, Sundays, right here on ESPN. It's early during the month of March to come. The guy's got crazy game. Hi, I'm Jay Billis. Spivak has got all the tools. He can shoot it, handle it. He's an excellent defender. He's going to make an outstanding prospect at the next level. As long as the next level doesn't mean UConn. The best place for Spivak is Duke. Look how it worked out for me. Go Zach. Look at the Blue Devils. That's where you need to be, brother. So, 
The recruiting war is on, but Ollie really wants him at UConn. And I've caught wind that Coach K really wants him at Duke. And many teams are lining up to get Zach Spivak on their roster. But his dad says that he's going to be holding out for the best deal. Yeah, we've been approached by the UConn Huskies. I got a call from Coach Ollie the other day. But I've also heard from Duke, Syracuse, Louisville. Maybe I'll wait for the Ivies. I mean, everybody wants Zach. He could go to my alma mater, Penn. I'm waiting for the best deal for Zachary Spivak. I always thought Zach would be an aspiring lacrosse player, but I don't really care where he goes, as long as when he gets paid, he takes care of me. You hear that, Zach? Lily and I, since Zach is always playing in his room with his mini hoop, thought Zach would go to a Division I school, but he better not go to a better school than me. Zach, don't listen to any of these people. All that matters is that you come out west every March and go skiing. Forget about everything else. Along the way, there will be many challenges. That's for sure. Maybe even legal challenges. Hey Zach, Kenny Main here. Uh, I was talking to Steph Curry about your game. He's impressed. And James Harden feels the same way. Also, Snoop Dogg, we didn't talk about your game. I just wanted to let you know that I know him. But it looks like you're under investigation now, so the whole UConn thing's not going to work out. But maybe all the bar mitzvah money uh, can raise enough funds to handle your legal defense. Or even mano a mano from a former NBA Finals MVP. Cassidy Hubbard here with the one and only Mr. Big Shot, Chauncey Billups. And Chauncey, I've been hearing a lot about this kid, Zach Spivak. He could really play. Cass, I'm pretty sure the dude is nice, but I'm still in the gym. I want a one-on-one. -on -one. I want to see. Uh, oh. I want to see. Challenge. Challenge, Zach. But I hear maybe, maybe be up to it. I don't know. He's that good. Let's see you prove it on the court. But we know Zach will be up for it. <laughs> That's for sure. After all, he's Zach Spivak. Hoops legend. For Cooper and the rest of the crew here at Sports Center, we thank you for watching this special report. And we now return you to your regularly scheduled programs. Thank <laughs> you.